Today is June 22nd. I'm back in Kentucky and I'm fishing the Cumberland River, which is a big tailwater fisheries uh, below Wolf Creek Dam, um, full of trout. The river's been in bad shape for the past seven or eight years, but uh, now the dam is fixed and the water is much colder than it's been and the fish are in great shape. Um, I'm trout fishing. Already caught two nice brown trout, one about 15 inches, one about 18 inches. I'm fishing off a, a steep, steep bluff a little bit to my left, uh, throwing a streamer in there and then stripping it back to the boat. Every time I get to a certain spot, I get hit. So I'm going to get a little bit upstream of it now uh, and then let the, the river carry me back down. There's an outboard coming up behind me, so I need to be aware of the wake that he's going to be throwing up. And the sound that you're hearing even closer than that is my trolling motor, which is getting me back up the uh, river here to this uh, starting place. So I've already taken a picture of the nice trout. If uh, I get another one, I'll see if I can catch it on video. Well, I'll be darned. I thought I had a little brown trout on there, but it's a smallmouth bass. If I can get him up here. Let me stop. All right, there he is. Not the biggest smallmouth there is that uh, swims in this river or any other, but uh, I'll take him. Uh, he broke off my fly, so I'm going to have to get that, get that out of his mouth and retie it. But let me put him back in the water now. Well, I haven't caught anything in a while, and the day is starting to come to an end, but uh, I hope this gives you an indication of what I've been dealing with most of the day. This fog has uh, been a bit of a problem. Normally it uh, burns off by mid-morning on this river, but... Uh, I guess a combination of uh, hot temperatures and cold water and lots and lots of humidity and a sun that hasn't quite broken through the clouds and of course no wind all have made uh, for a very very foggy day. It did burn off for a little while but it's back and uh, I'm approaching the bridge uh, below which is my takeout so I've got about another 10 or 15 minutes to fish and I switched to a dry fly because the fish are coming up and hitting the surface a little bit. I have no idea what they're hitting. I just put on a dry fly to see what would happen. I think it's a kind of a blue wing olive uh, imitation, but I don't know what the fish are going after. They're not going, uh, not surfacing very often, once every couple of minutes, but uh, I figured I'd give it a try for this last little bit of drift and end the day with that. <laughs> 